Yes, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to yet another video. And in today's video, 2022 BMW GS R1250 Adventure. That's a lot of words. Now, you guys know me and you guys are like, hey, Smokey, what the hell is wrong with you? You're the KTM guy and Husqvarna guy, also the Gas Gas guy, and you got a little Honda. So yeah, I've been doing a lot more brands. I do motorcycles and cars and everything in between, besides jet skis because I'm afraid of cold and deep water. Now, a couple of my friends have been telling me that the BMW GS is the one and only perfect adventure off-road motorcycle. Most likely because they own one. No, I don't have a lot of friends, but the other friends that I do have told me that a BMW GS is for old people. Now, I did a little crash yesterday when going off-road. No problem, all okay. No. Everything is okay. Everything is okay, no Okay, Okay. terminate the call, thank you. I thought the SOS button was not working. It turns out it was. So yeah, um, that is actually pretty awesome. Anyway, pretty strange start of this video. So yeah, uh, I crashed the Super uh, super Adventure. Oh, I can't say Super Adventure, that's my KTM. I'm really sorry, I'm really sorry. It's not your day today. <laughs> now with all that BMW, GS and old people things, well, I feel pretty young. Got into contact with my friends at BMW Brussels and they were like, hey, Smokey, come over and pick one up, 2022 GS, and let's let us know what you think. So yeah, and it... Excuse me, young muscular lad. Do you know the way to Country Kitchen Buffet? What? What? No, oh, Country Kitchen Buffet is on... What? It's... it's down the... What? What? It's down the road to your left. Oh, it... To the right. No. That guy actually looked like Joe Biden. Now, to go further into detail, BMW has sold 60,000 of these BMW GSs in 2021. That's a lot. It even makes rainbows on the ground. That's another five points for me, because I like rainbows. Neato. Now, a normal GS starts at 20,800 euros. As for the Adventure Series, 22,410, according to the website. But of course, with BMW, the options list for these bikes is longer than my last relationship. And of course, you get a couple of different colors. I really like the trophy with the golden wheels. Now, some of the technology on this bike is just really from outer space. I mean, two wheel hubs has holes in them. Look at that. Weird. The spokes are on the outside of the wheel. These fork legs are really thin because it's got the alien telelever suspension. Look at that. That's weird. Works pretty fine though. And it does not have a chain or a piece of frame on this side. That's a cool wheel though. It's got keyless go, but also you can use your key into a street fight. Huh. Here we go. As an option, you can get the M battery. It's lighter, it's stronger, and it's also 355 euros for the battery. Now, heated grips do come for free on this model. Heated seat, 268 euros. Heated feet, comes for free. Just put your feet on the cylinders. Heated feet. Probably not going to work with rubber soles. Of course, one of the most important things about a motorcycle is the sound. Now, the double bike stand, have been told, 
that it's really bad, that it's really hard to get your bike on that stand. I'm not joking, this is actually terrible. And I've got tennis shoes on. It really hurts my foot. Sheesh. If anybody from BMW is looking. That's how it should work. Now, standard seating height is 890 millimeters. I am one meter and 76 centimeters. So yeah, it's tippy toes. But for only 237 euros, they can lower the total bike to 50 millimeters and lower it to 840 millimeters seating height. As for the engine, of course, boxer engine, 1254 cc's, 136 horsepower, 143 newton meters of torque. And to answer your question right away, yes, it can do easy wheelies in second gear and clutched wheelies in third gear. Power wheelie. Oh, no problem, no problem whatsoever. Well, above 80, 90 kilometers an hour, it's really hard to third gear wheelies. Gotta say that. It needs like, it needs like 20 horsepower more. For third gear, 90 kilometers an hour wheelies, a little bit more horsepower. As for safety goes, the bike is safe by itself, but of course you can get some more extra safety features. Now, I didn't really read the manual, so I can only say that it's got ABS Pro, DTC, Dynamic ESA, HSC Pro, DBC, and MSR. I think the last one is motor slip regulation. I don't know, should have read the manual. As for riding on the highway, there is nothing bad I can say. It's absolutely flawless. I have no wind whatsoever, no noise, strange things going on, absolutely nothing. It's just perfect and even when you put the screen all the way up like that or all the way down it didn't make any difference the wind comfort absolutely perfect now someone said in the comments that I should only talk good about this motorcycle and I cannot say anything bad about it because BMW is paying me to say it's good BMW is not paying me to say it's good So besides being an adventure bike and you need a lot of luggage, this little pocket as standard is about all. And the bike stand, there is not much I can say that is bad, like absolutely nothing. I really like it, it's really comfy on the highway, I have no wind whatsoever, the engine is good, reliable, shifts good, everything is just fine. But. I do miss some excitement, like that raw power my LCA 1290 KTM gives me, that raw brutal feeling that actually scares me every time I get on that bike. That's what I miss on a BMW GS. But as far from that, I really understand now. I was a BMW GS virgin. I've seen so many people riding these BMW GSs, and I understand now. But it's a goddamn awesome build bike. German, strong, reliable. I don't know the German word for reliable. Zuverlässig. I have to Google that. I can't lie. Hmm. Now that is all that I have to say about the BMW GS for today. Probably tomorrow or this weekend. I'm going to take it maybe to the Eiffel. Not really sure. I'm gonna take it for a really long, really long ride. A really far one. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you guys liked it. What do you guys what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. BMW GS Adventure 1250 or KTM 1290 LC8. Anyway, see you guys next one. Peace, drive safe. Like this video, subscribe. See you guys next one. Peace, drive safe.